Guys, this is my first time playing Knights of the Old Republic for Boomer Month. Just the recording. 400 for the YouTube video. I know literally nothing about this game. Everybody says it's like one of the greatest games ever. A lot of people were really, really, really excited for me to play Knights of the Old Republic. So we're gonna go do that. A skillful rogue that gets by on stealth and guile. And explore most at home on the fringes of space. A battle ready fighter with no equal in combat. I'm probably gonna go, so oh, can I, hold on, wait. I'm probably gonna go soldier. Strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma. Custom character. Portrait. Oh wow. Okay. I'm gonna pick this guy. Okay, fan solo. And he's gonna have a. He's gonna. He's, like, he's, he's gonna be. He's gonna be a. He's gonna be a country boy. Okay. Let's see. Footlocker. Adrenal stamina. Blaster rifle. Med pack. Clothing. Short sword. Okay. Well, let's get everything. Okay. So how do I put on my gear? Blaster rifle. Wait, the sword is more damage. Well, hell yeah, I'm going with the sword. Hell yeah, look at me, dude. Can I swing? How do I swing? Okay, space bar is pause. Okay, how do I? Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with the party than on your own. Trask has joined your party. Left click this response to go to the party selection screen. Okay. Remember, any equipped items will remain on the character, so those items will not show up in your inventory when a character is removed from the party. You have to add the character to your party again if you want to access their equipped items. He's level three? Oh, frick, he's strong. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay. Dude, immersion. Wait. You always control the leap. Left click my portrait. Left. Oh, 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 I misunderstood. Okay. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead. What the? Wait, what the hell? Whoa! Nice. Hello, droid. He doesn't understand what I'm saying. This guy doesn't understand speaking English. Okay. Wait. Mute Discord? I can't hear anything in Discord. Did Could you guys hear it? I couldn't hear it. I just let, I, I, yeah, I was in the Discord. I, I couldn't hear it. They hear you. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Yeah. Everything is bugged out on my computer right now, trying to make this game work. Everything is broken. And it didn't, uh, I don't and need a pan camera left and right, right? Q. Select Yo, S fan! S fan! <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, no, dude. I don't, oh, think, we're good. I don't think S fan knows. Oh, he's playing Star Wars. No, he definitely does. He knows. <laughs> nice. He's farming Omega no, Hello, Joy. No, no, I don't need a pan camera left and right, right? I, 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 I legit couldn't even hear. Okay. The Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. For the Republic. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we gotta, we gotta kill the Sith soldier here. Okay, so I can go in and, and I can power attack him or flurry right off the bat. Attack, power attack, or flurry. So when you respawn an enemy, left click the selected enemy once center combat mode. This will lock the camera on your selected target. Left clicking the target again, cause your character to perform the default action and attack your turn. I'm paused, I'm paused. Oh. Okay, so I just flurried. So can I, now I power attack. Oh, so I change it and then I do different things I've based got a on. Feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. Uh, okay. Oh. Item received. Door. It's Dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. You gotta stay back. All we do is get in the way. <laughs> That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, they could have used Wait, their help. Wait, is it dead? A Jedi is just dead? How do I know I'm I can trust soldier you? With Republic, like you? Thank you so much, dude. We're Thank the you, last man. two crew members left in the Andar Spire. Bastila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. Use the escape pods. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's use it. Okay, we're good.
I was having a bad dream. Bastil is the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Ender Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. How can one person, even a Jedi, be so important? Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. So what do you suggest we do next? Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us. And if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need her. What's in it for me if I help you out? You mean, besides a chance to get off this planet before the Sith find you, do you, do you have any idea what the Sith do to prisoners of war? Got you, Hyper. You want my help? You better make oh, it worth it. my while. Never mind that the Sith will destroy the Republic and ravage the galaxy. You're only in this for the credits. Don't worry, the Republic True. pays its mercenaries well. You help me find Bastila, and they'll make it more than worth your while, I'm sure. Plus, it might be your only chance to get off Terrace. Which means getting off this planet, I guess I can help you find Bastila. I don't think too many of you are better. Most of the residents in this world are now in the permanent or illegal aliens. My name is Lorm, by the way. Pleased to meet you, Lorm. My name is Fan Solo. You look like someone who might need to purchase one of those new energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know. Very high tech. What's so great about these energy shields? When you use one, it surrounds you with a radiant aura particle mesh that absorbs blaster bolts. Pretty handy in a fight. The shielding protects against lightsabers, or so I hear. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. <laughs> oh, hello. Kudu, Tony Rama, na praka donka Just take what you want. I won't try and stop you. Kudu, Tony Rama, na praka donka. A bag of parts, computer spike credits, get items. Got me a ton of credits, janitor. Hey there, what, well, what, what's where you're walking? I just clean those floors. <laughs> oh, this guy's voice is good. Who are you? My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? I want to ask you some questions. Where can I get some equipment? Well, the best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. <laughs> Who Dia. are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. I'm just looking for something to steal. Stay out of my way and you won't get hurt. You're as bad as that pig Holden. I'll stay out of your way, but you're wasting your time. I don't have anything worth stealing. Med pack, originally I saved your crib. That's right. That's good. Yeah, it's my guilt tax. Wait, light side points gain. You asked for this. Yeah. How'd you like that? You asked for this. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Hand over all your credits you if you joking? want to live. You don't need this guy's credits. Just go on. <laughs> we were happy to help. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. Okay, dark side points. <laughs> ah, yes. I'm the boss around here, okay? Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. Heed my warning before it the is too late. The evil walks among us. The evil the enemy walks is among here. us. We the must act now here. before we are overrun with the vermin invaders. With the vermin invaders. Vermin and scum? What are you talking about? I am speaking of the hideous looking aliens who walk the world of Taurus. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rhodians and Bith, all of them. Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action. 
We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. <laughs> this guy's voice is so familiar to me. You're right. We should slaughter the whole bunch of yes, them. Yes, my fellow human. You have seen the light. Gordon Koglu has marked your face. I will remember you when the time to destroy the aliens and the alien lovers is upon us. For now, stay vigilant. Be ready. Trust no one. I will find you when the day of reckoning is upon us. And together, we will rid beautiful Taurus of these alien species. <laughs> Greetings again, friend. Have you mentioned my anti-alien league to others? We must always be looking for those sympathetic to our cause. Uh, yes. I mentioned it to everyone I meet. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> There is much work yet to be done. <laughs> so spreading funny, our message. Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Teresian underground? Start talking. I want answers. <laughs> Please, I'm only a visitor to Taurus. Trapped here by your quarantine. I know nothing about the Taurisian underground or your missing Sith uniforms. Uh, uniforms? What are they talking about? You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. I don't want to get involved in this, or I can. Maybe the alien doesn't really know anything. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. You're right. Do whatever you want. Smart move. This is your last chance. Where did you hide those uniforms you stole? I don't know what you mean. I'm just... No! Get in here. Search the room. I know those uniforms are in here somewhere. What do you want, civilian? Do you have any information about the missing Sith uniforms? Make it quick. Uniforms? What are you talking about? You're curious about this. Maybe a little too curious. I think you know more about those missing uniforms than you're saying. If I wanted uniforms, I'd just kill you and take yours. A threat? I knew you were a spy. Oh, frick. I mean, I was just saying, like, just mathematically, like, minus one, plus one. That, was, that wasn't a threat. I was just saying. Okay, well, I'm going to attack this guy because he's closest. We're going to start with Flurry. Yeah. You asked for this. Well, we own. That was awesome. Credit Sith armor blaster rifle. Okay, what? so now that we have yes? Sith uniforms, we can go back to that other place. Yes. Wait, I look cool. I look like Robocop. I I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of official Sith business. Oh, frick. They think I'm a Sith. Please, don't take me for questioning. I, I don't know anything. I swear. Dude, they're all scared of me. This is so cool. You're... You're with the Sith, ain't you? Oh, sure. I, I recognize the uniform. W what do you want? I haven't done anything wrong. If, if you want to search the place, go ahead. I won't stop you. I've got nothing to hide from you. Give me all your money. Wait, they're so afraid of me. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of official Sith business. Okay. This is good. Where's the old man? I want to go talk to the old man again. Please, don't take me for questioning. I, I don't know anything. I swear. Yo. Greetings, my Sith friends. Rest assured I have all the proper permits to be here spreading my message. Feel free to stay and listen if you wish. You'll find my message most enlightening. The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders. You Sith should shut the... A plague spreads through our streets. <laughs> we cannot sit idly by while this... You Sith should shut this guy up. I think he's... Listen to me, people. There is a terrible <laughs> scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. You Sith should shut this guy up. I think he's... The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before... <laughs> Listen, Antics. 
Can't you see I'm auditioning? This is my shot the big time. I can't risk screwing it up by talking to you. Oh, it's a use. There's no way Bib's gonna hire me unless he gets a chance to see me dance with partner. Maybe I should just give up. I admit, I'm getting desperate. I'd hate to blow this audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to just pair up with a random passerby. How do I know if you're any good? How hard can it be? I'm good enough to get you through your audition, or what other choice do you have? I think I say, what other choice do you have? <laughs> Success! <laughs> well, you do have that certain look about you, a confidence of movement. I guess you'll have to do, but I'm warning you, don't screw this up. It's just a rule, I've got a partner now. I'd really like to audition for you now. Okay, Landy, you've got one more chance. I'll give you a minute to get your partner set up, and let's see what you've got. Join Lynn by dancing very close and face to face, very close beside her, or just dancing beside her. <laughs> very close and face to face. Tug. <laughs> Wow, very impressive. Good technique, good rhythm, good synchronization, nice tight spacing. Are you sure your partner's an amateur, Lynn? Hey, quit trying to upstage me. This is my audition, not yours. Now listen, we made a good first impression. So you might want to take it down a notch for the next chance, just so you don't do anything stupid. Just follow my lead again. Join Lynn by running around her in circles. She dances. <laughs> Uh, die close beside her, close behind her, or run around. <laughs> I'm gonna run around in circles. <laughs> what was that? That was just easily the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I'm not auditioning for a comedy act here. I want dancers, not clowns. Come on, Lynn, pull it together. One last chance. Let's go. You idiot! What were you thinking? I'd have a better chance at dancing with a drunken Gamorrean. You could have ruined me. Look, we've only got one dance last, so we're going to have to pull it all out, all the stops. Don't hold anything back this time, so pay attention to my moves, then join in and don't I'm, I'm trying to decide, do I go very close and face-to-face -face again, or do I go beside her and, like, tone it down? I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> the rat ghouls took my wife. I can only pray she is dead. I cannot bear to even think of the alternative. Wait, what? What? I'm gonna throw a grenade and see what happens. Take that! You asked for this! Yes? Nice! Yes! Down you go! Miss! How'd you like that? Miss, miss! Okay, can we shower here? Look at oh. this. This is one of those old style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security Bull, spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. You're side for sore eyes, Rachel. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. Who's that with you? These are my new friends, Big Z. So, is there some kind of reward or something for freeing you? You know the language, my people? That is rare, my species. I'm impressed. You have saved me from a life of servitude and slavery. There's only one way I can ever pay such a man. I will swear a life debt to you. A life debt? You sure about that, Pixie? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. Heck. 
Okay. Chat. Ah! Ah! Oh, she's dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. I don't think this is going to work. Wait, that's good. That did good damage. Wait, that's doing good damage. Look at his health All ticking down. Just just oh, no! Or thank you for the 14 months, man. Thank you, dude. Oh, what the? Wait, what the? What? Where? How did? What the hell? What just happened? God, you guys are so annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. What? Ha! Oh, sure. No, run back. What are you doing? Stop. Passive. Pa put pets on passive. What? No! Zabar is dead. Yeah. What? Well, she's dead. Uh. Cephalons invested 300 red coin into the stream. With all this resetting, you would think you were a mage in ZG Pepe Laugh. I got this, dude. I got this. The corpses? I was already at the corpses. Dude, look at that, dude. Nice. Yeah. Is there something you want? Wait, what is happening? What the frick? <laughs> what is my guy doing? Wait, what? What just what just happened? Happen. Yeah. Is there something you want? Wait, what is happening? What the <laughs> you have returned. Do you have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I do. I have the accelerator right here. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. That's so fast, Gadden. I want a, re a reward for recovering this. A reward? I'm blind, but I'm not stupid. Your reward is the chance to ride in the big swoop race so you can win Bastila's freedom. We had a deal, and I expect you to honor it. Meat Shield, give the two more subs. Needs. Thank you, Meat Shield. What's to stop me from just taking the prototype from you and leaving you for dead? Okay, I lived up to my end of the deal. Now you better come Don't through. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner... And I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, 
you won't stand a chance. Why are you doing this, Gaddon? I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator is unstable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. Oh, I can't wait. ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. Sounds like you got all your bases covered. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. Okay. I'm ready for the race. Brand Knight's Corps. Congrats, guys. Thank you, Meat Shield. Oh, ass. 24-8. 24-8. You see that? You did it. In 20 years, I've never seen anyone handle a swoop like that before. No one's going to be that time. Nobody. I guess Gad knew what he was doing when he picked you to ride for us. Now, the only thing is to wait for the time to become official and go collect your prize. People, hear Walkers. me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated. What? She then. You better not be trying to cheat me, Bredrick. Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. You can't do that, you know the rules. No one is allowed to withdraw a victory prize after the race. It goes against all our most sacred traditions. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Impossible. You what? are restrained by Why a did you not sweater. do that earlier? How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself. You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Journal entry at experience points. 330. Oh nice, that's a lot. Why like why did I go through the entire first five hours of playing this game? Oh man, I'm gonna shield. Uh okay. That's a lot of damage. Bredrick's belt, double bladed lightsaber. What? Well, maybe those bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Swoop gang. <laughs> Never mind that. I won the swoop race and you're my prize. I own you now. You must have banked a turn too sharply because it sounds like all the blood has rushed from your brain. I am Bastila Shan, a member of the Jedi Order and a fleet commander for the Republic. Nobody owns me. Now we don't have time for joking around. What are you doing here? Winning the swoop race was the only way I could save you. Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Vulcas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. I think you've got things confused. You were a helpless prisoner until I came along. I may have been a prisoner. But a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force? But I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on you. You did try to save me, after all, even if it didn't go quite as planned. So let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. Hey, who said you were in charge here? The Republic, for one. I was a fleet commander, remember? But I don't want you getting all worked up over nothing. So tell me, do you have a plan to get off this planet? Karth and I are already working on a plan to get off Taurus. 
Karth and Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. Hey, he like sent the game, you here to great. save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Bastila, you're alive! Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I'm getting a little sick of your attitude, Bastila. Maya! I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Oh. Oh, hello again. Oh, you didn't come to make a complaint about the mess in the building. I keep asking for an assistant, but they expect me to do it all on my own. You know who this guy sounds like? Who this voice actor sounds like? Nobody's getting it. An old man version of Randy Savage. I'm Kadir. I'm I'm the janitor here. Jeez, I know you're a new tenant. Macho man. I didn't think you'd forget me already. I have feelings, you know. Listen to how he talks, the way he pronounces words, and the cadence of how he speaks. Yeah, okay, then. No hard feelings. So what can I do for you? Oh, yeah. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. What's in this for me? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide yeah, I the vehicle backseat, to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. How are you going to uh -uh, manage that? Not yet. First you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. How am I supposed to get inside the military? Getting base? in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom-built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kandoris sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Won't Davik get mad if I take his droid? Davik paid for the droid, Davik. but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally, I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Okay, Candorous, you got a deal. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Okay, so there's another bounty in here. Terrace citizen. Any bounters? Any bounters? Any bounters? Any bounters? I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan. I love it. It's super fun. What? And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks. He's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, human. The betting window's closed. No more fights right now. We're sick of seeing the same duels all the time. It's bad for business. Unless... 
My name is Azure. I organize all the duels here. We need a new face in the dueling game, human. Maybe you want to step into the duel ring? It can be a highly profitable venture. I might be interested. What's in it for me? I can arrange for you to find the duel ring. If you win, you get the standard contract. 10% of all wagers. Don't worry, nobody dies in the duel ring anyway. Death matches are illegal now. Most fighters in the duel ring use vibra blades or stun sticks because the rings are pretty small. But a few of the duelists use blasters, so use whichever you prefer. Vibro blades and blasters? And nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? The duel ring has an energy suppressor field to make sure nobody dies. Weapons are limited, so they hurt but don't kill, and we've got a medic droid in case of serious injuries. Are you interested? I'll do it, but I want more than 10%. Okay, failure. If I pay you more than everyone wants more. No, you get the same as all the others, 10%. That's my final offer. Okay, I'll do good. New blood for the ring, but you need a nickname like Ice or Deadeye or Twitch. Good nicknames make people bet It's a good name for you. You're an off-worlder, you're new here. People won't recognize you, I know. From now on in the duel ring, you'll be the Mysterious Stranger. A terrible name. What do you know about nicknames? I've been given names for 20 years, Mysterious Stranger. That's your name now. The Mysterious Stranger is a perfect name. You've got no past, no history. It makes you seem like you've got some big, dark secret. People like that. This better. is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endar Spire. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I just, I Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Deadeye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The mysterious stranger. Ready did this? No, no, no. Now I'm competing. Okay, time to fight, chat. <laughs> it's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! But we are any of us surprised? Jedi losing isn't news. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. Dude, my character is strong. It's over. Endless corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle. I got this. Bendik Star Killer. I don't want to skip anyone. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wondering eyes I got this. on. I got this. plan. The mysterious stranger. And now, where's my the HP? It's on the bottom. We've left. all been waiting for. All right, chumps, let's do this. Leroy. Okay. Here's the plan. I'm gonna start with an energy shield. Okay. And then I'm gonna move away from the grenade. And then I'm gonna pause. Hyper battle stimulant. Self. Move from the grenade. Again, I will then use Adrenal Strength, Self. Oh no. Uh, adrenal Stamina, Self. I'm going to use another Energy Shield, Self. Dodge the bullet. Adrenal Alacrity. And now we're ready to attack. But first, we're gonna throw a frag grenade, the first attack. We move. Concussion grenade. Stun the opponent. Energy shield. 
Another concussion grenade. It's not effective. Poison grenade. We move in on the target. Sonic grenade. Just kidding. Energy shield again. Advanced med pack self. Now we flurry. We're low on health. We have to move. Med pack. Med pack again. Wait, why? Med pack again. Improve flurry. Miss. Kite back. As he pulls out his weapon. Med pack. Back out, back in. He's going to attack. As he attacks, I throw him off. We're gonna throw another frag grenade. We're going to do another shield and two med packs. One med pack. Two med packs. Another shield. Move. Med pack, med pack. Grenade. Grenade again. Energy shield, med pack, med pack. Med pack, med pack. Med pack again. Grenade the target. Charge. And finish with a flurry. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, God. Miss, miss, miss again. Frick. There it is. Welcome. You're welcome. The stranger. The greatest duelist to ever grace the rings of Terrace. That's right. That's right, boys. You're welcome. Let your Bendak stop. Bendak Starkiller is dead. I don't believe it. Bendak never loses. That was amazing. Best duel I've ever seen. I know, I know. I'm a living legend. Now, what about my cut? You're done well, stranger. I'm pleased. Very pleased. Here are your credits. Plus, I'll give you Bendak's blaster pistol as a bonus. It's a sign of appreciation. I think I deserve a little extra for putting my life on the line. Well, I always pay my debts, but if you get more than all the duelists will want more, then we had a deal, 10%. I expect you to honor it. Or should I say, pay up, you overgrown slug, or I'll tell people you went back on our deal. Your reputation will be ruined. What do you guys think? I think I say pay up. You'd lie about me? Maybe it would have been better if Pendek had to. You're still alive and I can't afford to have a new legend to spare my reputation. Okay, you win. Here's another 200 points. More than fair. Now don't be accusing me of not paying my fighters. I've got a reputation to protect. Nice. Dark side points gained. Oh, frick. Dude, things are getting real dark, dude. That's <laughs> a good day, that's man. Security door is sealed and cannot be opened using normal security. I'm skills. here. Ah. Okay, come in here. There's a restricted area. You better tell me what you're doing. Or I'm gonna hit the alarm. I'm here for a meeting. Don't worry. I know where I have to go. Nice try. What, you think just because I'm pretty, I'm also stupid? You better tell me why you're here. I'll hit this alarm and you'll have about three seconds before this office is swarming with Sith soldiers. Look, here's 50 credits. Just don't hit that alarm. 50 credits? You got a deal. The Sith have been in my living hell ever since they took over this base. It's about time someone stood up to be Sith. Just do me a favor and wait until I'm out of here before you start blasting the place up. Yes. What? Okay, well, that was not too hard. Oh, frick. 
Uh, let's attack this guy and let's go improved flurry. And then she, we're gonna, you're gonna go to the back line. You are going to stun him. What can I do? I bet. Sure. Okay. Come back and I meet you here. What can I do? Nice. Yes. Dude, we're strong. Slice the computer. Two spikes. Wait, wait, actually, hold on. Hold on. You got this? One spike. Enter command. Access security cameras. Let's see. Main camera. Ooh, there's a lot of bad guys. Barracks, secondary cameras. Yeah, let's overload the power conduit. Ready, chat? Watch this. Nice. Oh, we ran out of spikes. Overload the terminal. Sure. Oh, what's the... <laughs> Wait, I didn't know... <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen. I didn't know that was what was gonna happen. Oh, frick. This is the guy. Okay, assault droid. Droid stun ray. Throw lightsaber. Improve flurry. What sure. can I do? Ha! Da! Ha! Nice, very good. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait, I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a force adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. You said must be brought to judgment for all the blood you've spilled. You are a fool. This is a new age. The Sith shall be the ones passing judgment now. I sure. guess. Ha! Ha! I'm here. Okay, let's uh saber throw and flurry. Uh, okay. You're taking a lot of damage now. Uh, I'm going to do a grenade and then a stun. What? We just got owned. So a game like this, like it's like okay, well, bash, How dare right? You feed my well, what's happening How behind rude. the scenes? Like it's a dice I roll. I am a personal guest of happening. Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? Uh, Davik wanted to make sure you didn't need anything. Persuade. That is no excuse. Uh, that's what? it. Time for you to die. Help! Assassins! God! Reported. You shall fall. What the hell? There's more of them? <laughs> Battle show game. Yeah, like, I mean, every every game is like this, right? Every time you swing your weapon in WoW, it's a, there's a dice roll, right? Here it is! So how come this, how come I don't hit as hard? 
That's the lights. How come the lightsaber girl doesn't hit as hard as? Thank the you. Sword guy? You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. Okay, you're free. Now give me my reward or I'll kill you myself. Please don't hurt me. I'll tell you everything I know. Information worth a fortune. So just stay calm, okay? I I'll tell you what I know. I used to be the pilot of the Ebon Hawk, Davik's flagship. Uh, you better come with more of a reward if you want to walk out of here alive. What? But I, I don't have anything else. Those Ebon Hawk codes are worth a fortune. Love your content, Any my man. Keep doing Welcome it. Welcome to the slave quarters, master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> Thank you, Akami Wolf. Now this is my kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. Well, I'd love a massage right As now. As you wish, Master. You will find this most relaxing if you would come with me into the massage room at the back. Oh, typically male. Is it possible for you to keep in mind that we have more pressing business to attend to? I trust you are satisfied with the service. I have received many compliments on my skills from previous clients. Your job isn't finished yet. I want another massage. Melter Armour donated three dollars. Love your stream and your content. Thanks, Melter Armour. Thanks for three dollars. I will do my best to sate your prodigious appetites with another massage, Master. It wasn't as fulfilling as I hoped. Please, something seems to be lacking. I beg you, don't tell Davik you are displeased with me. He punished. Okay, I'm telling Davik you're the worst slave I've ever seen. As you wish, Master. It will not be the first time I have been punished by Davik. I'm sorry I have failed to please you, Master. I will try to do better in the future. <clears throat> Is there anything else you require from this most unworthy servant? Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what is offered here. We exist only to serve. I'll leave now. You find a computer yes. panel to disable. Is it this one? Open all security doors. Disable hangar security. Damn no Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Wow, look what we got here. Dude, Please, his voice is not nearly as serious enough so, for getting flown. You figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. I'm here. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep throwing a grenade at him. And then I'm gonna move in for this. You may have me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn those Sith. They'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Ah! Oh, frick. Davik's war suit. Wait, what about him? Do I get any bounty hunter loot? Must. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Enjoy this, that's I, I like it a lot, Zitor. I do. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Gabagool, thank you for the two months, dude. Oh, hit me flow. Thanks for the $3, dude. I just saw that. Why am I still awake? Why haven't I done any of my classwork? Why am I still watching? Why is Cashy Cools in the chat? I'm going to be I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night, hit me flow.
Thank you for the three dollars, dude. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Dantooine. Incoming fighters. Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. hard to hit wait these are actually so hard to hit my sensitivity is so low Space Shroud. <laughs> A lot of people fell the first time on that. Oh, really? Dude, what a good game, man. What's up, Shelton? Are you going to play Zelda for the Super Nintendo? Yeah, I will. Link to the past. Dantooine. It seems like a lifetime Dantooine. since I last... Oh. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. I agree with Bastila. We should, keep, we should be safe here. No, I think Karth has a point. We should keep moving. We can't just keep running. Malak will find us eventually. We need to regroup. We need a plan. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of what? mental and spiritual healing. <laughs> something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must this be texture taking it yeah. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. Chat, stop. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. Chat. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. Uh, an audience with the Jedi That's, Council? That gives it's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Until you talk with the Jedi Council, you'll be unable to switch characters in and out of the party. Okay. Cool. Guys, day one of Knights of the Old Republic has been awesome. It's been super enjoyable. This is longer than 12 hours. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will continue this tomorrow at 2 p.m.